So this movement of desire, fear is in time. It's based on, what I mean by that is based on memory. That's what I mean by time. Thinking about the past, thinking about the future. Desire and fear are always based on thinking about the past, which we call memory. I should explain that as well. Memory, what is memory? Memory is basically recalling or thinking about the past. It might be past information, like if you can recall the capital of France is Paris, that's knowledge in your mind. That's you're re recollecting something you've learned in the past. It's based upon memory. So desire and fear are always based upon memory, which is based, which is the past, um, recollection of the past, and it projects into the future. Oh, I'm worried about um, my job interview tomorrow. Oh, I'm worried about meeting up with such and such a person tomorrow. This is all based upon your memories of these sorts of events having happened in the past. And now you're projecting into the future and go, oh, I don't want that to happen again. And therefore, I'm adverse to it. Or therefore, I desire it. This is the past future thinking. When we're thinking in terms of pleasure, pain, the desire, attraction, aversion, fear. J. Krishnamurti calls this psychological time. J. Krishnamurti and J. Krishnamurti's teachers, he calls, this, he calls this psychological time. I think Eckhart Tolle also uses that phrase because Eckhart Tolle is very much influenced by J. Krishnamurti. When you read Eckhart, you, um, you can see the language of J. Krishnamurti creeping through. There's nothing wrong with that, but you can see it creeping through. It's a psychological time. Krishna, Krishnamurti used to talk about two types of time. He used to talk about time by the clock, which is just not a problem at all. It's just time in Maya. Time in Maya, the, the illusion of time as it goes by. And psychological time, which is when our minds are obsessing about desire and fear, attraction and aversion. Leisure pain, this movement, this psychological movement, this energetic movement of desire and fear, this one movement. So coming to the present means to let go of this illusion. It doesn't mean you don't plan, but it means you're not encumbered by desire and fear. Come into that present moment. 